most definitely. Hello, how's it going? I'm on two platforms once again, which means waiting for my Instagram to tell people that I'm here and say hello while I do some housekeeping stuff over on the YouTube channel as well. Hello, thank you for joining me. I will get started here very, very shortly. Uh, just making sure that we are live on both platforms. So if I have people over on YouTube, that hit me up, say hi, that I'm live and I can let me know here over on Instagram as well. If you hear me, um, I may be like, in these cool videos because if you guys know anything about Instagram and things like that, I'm dealing with a small sort of camera frame for Instagram versus my large camera frame for YouTube. So you do get to see so much more of my um, background versus, you know, what you're calling. Yes. So thank you, Instagram peoples, uh, that you guys can hear me and you can see me and I'm Hello, can you see me? Am I back over on YouTube? Let me know. Yeah, something was going on with my YouTube. Um, it lost me for a minute. Hopefully I am back now. That's gonna suck. Cause I mean, I can go back through on my YouTube and re-edit it, but, and take it out. Oh, awesome, okay. Thank you guys. You guys are awesome, by the way. I just I just have to let you know that you're awesome because you guys let me know like right off the bat that if something's going wrong, <laughs> you're like on it, on it, on it, on it. So hopefully it stays stable because I'm in my room, but let's get to it because there is a lot to go over for this bookshelf and I want to make sure that we stay under that two hour thing because there's just no way I'm getting through this entire shelf and all the stuff that's on it in under two hours. So I'm not left-handed, so it's really uncomfortable for me to use my left hand to do anything. So uh, YouTube or IG, you may lose me a little bit because I may like float off screen, what have you, if I'm pointing at something. But uh, YouTube, you guys can see me. I hope. I hope that continues. So let's get to it. Let's get to these pops up here, right? So if you guys saw, I think it was bookshelf number two, I have a thing for Hannibal Lecter. It's one of the only sort of horror shows or horror movies that uh... is the audio okay? Can you guys hear me? I hope so. That's not good. How is my audio audio? Can you give me a thumbs up if it's okay? Uh, can I get some thumbs up over on YouTube for for audio? Oh. Okay, cool. Thanks, Jess. Appreciate that. Okay, awesome. 
everybody can hear me. All right, Hannibal Lecter pop right here because I love the Silence of the Lambs like trilogy and I think it's crazy and I just had to have him when I saw him. Um, You guys know oh, I'm a Disney fan. So I have the new Beast from Beauty and the Beast. And I also have the new Genie from uh, Aladdin as well. When I was, gosh, in my 20s, I was obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with Sydney Bristow from Alias. So when I saw that she had a pop, I had to immediately go out and get them. And if I can find the other four or other three, I would be so happy to get them. Oh my goodness. I think I love Alias. Love, love Alias so very much. Um, I have all of them on DVD and uh, I watch it occasionally, rewatch the show. Enjoy that. Um, we here in this family are uh, Will Ferrell stands, and we love the movie Elf. So we got an elf from the movie Elf. Buddy, Buddy the Elf. So we got him. Um, love some Wreck-It Ralph in the family as well. So I have Ralph. Oop, let's see if I can not flash him out. There we go. Ralph from Wreck-It Ralph. And then I have Fix-It Felix as well. And in Bookshelf Tour, what, four? Yeah, that's four right there. Um, you guys saw that I had Yes as well. Those are all from Wreck-It Ralph. Nope, Ralph Breaks the Internet. Internet. There we go. Woo! Um, huge, huge, huge Star Wars fans in this family. Well, not me, but the husband and the son are all about Star Wars. So when Carrie Fisher died, I knew that I needed to go out and it was like kismet and fate and things like that. And I found General Leia right here from Star Wars. Then I also have uh, Ale, Secor, something, one of them. Yeah, yeah, one of them. And then in my room, I have Obi-Wan Kenobi. So around the rest of the house, we have a whole bunch of other Star Wars paraphernalia out there. It's crazy. And yes, we even have a miniature Yoda that stands like waist height. And if you put him, put his like batteries in, he's like, use the force, use the force. Yeah, it's crazy. And then I am a huge, 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 huge fan of Fast and Furious. I was very heartbroken when Paul Walker died, but I have a Brian O'Connor freaking Fast and the Furious pop. So had to have it. Had to have it. Alrighty. So that takes care of the pops. Let's get to the rest of the knickknacks that are on here and then we'll get into some books. So one of the years that I went to a book signing, there was a guess how many strawberry um, starbursts were in a jar, which the jar's over there, but I'm not showing it. It's behind that blue curtain for those on YouTube that can see the blue curtain. And I ended up winning. I came like super, super close to how many starbursts were in there. And one of the prizes was this knit strawberry hat. I think it's super adorable. It is so hot right now or else I would have put it on or I'd put it on just to show you how cute it is but it was hand knitted by the author that ran that giveaway. So that was kind of cool. I have my boys in books are better koozie. And this is from Miss Amy Knight. Love her. Oh, so much. I have this three knocks candle. I'm not opening this. Um, I got this in a book, um, in a book box back when I was subscribing to book boxes and it's called The Last Unicorn, and it is Juniper Breeze, Meadow, and Sea Mist. I don't want to open this because if I remember correctly, I'm not a fan of the scent, but it's a cool candle to sit as a knickknack. 
Um, then I have a make me forget shot glass in which I got from a signing. Not can't remember which author gave those out, but I have that. I have my 2017 Indies Invade Philly uh, swag cup that goes up there. Oh, I have my tea turtle like little collection. If you've ever participated in a giveaway from me, um, some of the time, some of the giveaways that I've done, I've added extra little knickknacks in there. And I had a couple other tea turtle pins, but uh, this one I am keeping for myself, enamel pins. I think they're adorable. Um, I haven't found a real use for them yet, but I still think they're adorable. And this one is like my fave, which I'll never get rid of, which is the, uh, I can't adult today. Yes, that's like every day, right? I'm really like trying to like reach out to T Turtle. I'm like, yo, can I get an affiliate? Can, can I get an affiliate code of some sort? Like, really? I love their stuff. Um, one of the, I can't remember where I got this from, but I love this pin. It says just one more chapter, but this is another enamel pin that I got, which you can't see over here. I need to switch this up because I feel like I'm. Ooh, let's see if I turn. No, I don't want to turn that way. Hmm. Sorry, YouTube. Okay. So then I have my uh, Read Me Romance Pop Socket, which I got and I love. I just haven't figured out something to put it on yet. Uh, my Kindles are in cases and I haven't put a pop socket on them. But if I was to take my Kindles out of the case, I probably would use that pop socket. And I just recently received this really, really cute uh, bookmark. And I don't usually read with physical books. So I have no use for real bookmarks, what have you. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it. There you go. Over on YouTube. That's the bookmark. Alrighty. I have some of Polycon stuff and uh, my picture with Jennifer L. Armentrout and Drew that we did in 2018. And then I have some cards uh, from Macalia Smeltzer and that's from like her, her book series, which you guys are going to see one of the book series. Uh, but I have a whole stack of them. So I think that's it. Ooh. Every once in a while you will see my little penis. Uh, that comes out to play. He's from Alexa Riley. They gave them out one year. I think at Indies and they feel like they were just like throwing them at people. It was crazy. All right. Let's get to some books because that's what you guys are really here for. And I know that will take a little time. Yes. Okay. I'm glad you guys got to see that because... It'd be crazy. It'd be crazy. This, I would have to say, is probably my darkest uh, bookshelf. Not in the nature of the books, because a lot of these books are very, very sweet. But uh, in spine color. There's not very much variety of spine, oh, except for this one. That shelf is pretty. Yeah, I'm just going to just get to the books. We're just going to get to the books. So we have my... Whew. Tina Reber books, and I have Love Unrehearsed. I have Love Unscripted. And then I have Jet. I have my J.A. Remersky series or collection that I have. I only have like three books from her. Uh, I need to get the other series, but I haven't gotten them yet. Um, and that is The Edge of Never. The Edge of Always. And Song of the Fireflies. I 
I have my Carrie Thomas books. Uh, we have Piper, which is super pretty, super vibrant and gorgeous in color. We have Nicole. And then we have Stephanie. Well, let me move my hand. There we go. We have Stephanie. Bam. Ooh. Next, we have Emma Chase's books that I have from her. And those, uh, let's see if I can, there we go. We have Tangled. We have Twisted. We have Tamed. And we have Tide, which is one series. We have her Lawyer series, and that is Overruled. Sustained. Appealed. You can see that, hopefully. And for some reason, I got two copies of Sidebar. Ooh. I have my Heidi McLaughlin books, which is here with me. Choose me. Save me. And sexcation. Next up are my Alexa Riley books that I have, um, and that is Thief, Coach. P.S. You're Mine, The Princesses, Everything for Her, and His Alone. Alrighty, next shelf. That fixed. This is the first series that wrecked. Well, I can't say the very first, but this is one of the very first series that wrecked my heart and just made me figure out that I am an emotional reader and have no qualms about reading and crying in public and things like that. And that is the uh, Truth and Lies series by Katherine Owen. The first book is This Much Is True. The second book is The Truth About Air and Water. And the third one is Tell Me Something True. And this was probably one of the first epic love stories I've read over a three book series that had me very much wanting the next book to come out. Uh, probably one of the first series that uh, I was like, if the whole series isn't out, then I don't want it just because my heart was so, uh, you know, just drawn in by this, by this epic love story. It's a ballerina and it's a baseball player and it is truly epic. Hey Brie, what's up? Oh. Then we have my two books from Amy Knight, which I need to get more of them because there's this that one of these is a series and I need them because these covers are absolutely gorgeous. Uh we have The Line and I believe this is actually the not the this I think this is the original cover uh but the cover has been changed 
And then I have a steel heart. And this is the series in which I need to get the rest of the books for because all of the covers are gorgeous like this. And they're all pretty and different colors and they would be beautiful on my shelves. I'm just saying. Just saying. Oh. All right. Then, 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 then we have my CM Hutton collection. We have Honest Love, which is a beautiful story. We have uh, Without Peace. And I also have Life of a Fool. Now we're about to get into my Macaulay Smeltzer uh, collection. It's large. It's not as large as someone else's down here, uh, but it is a very large collection. It's so good. There's so many things that go on with so many of these different series, and I love them all. And uh, she's also a fairly local author to me here in Virginia. She is in Western Maryland, uh, West Virginia area. And I love that. Love it, love it, love it. So let's just jump into them. Um, these two actually go with these two. So her roommate series has two different covers for each of the books. And I love them both. You have a male cover and then you have a female cover. And for Desperately Sinking Landlord, we have these two covers, which I love. And it's a fun story about, you know, a smug landlord and a sassy lady. And then we also, or I also, also have Desperately Seeking a Roommate. And that is these two covers. And that one's going to flash out. It's yellow. So you really can't see that one. But I love it. It's cute. It's super adorable. I wish there was a way to not flash it out. But then you wouldn't be able to see me. So we'll just have to deal with the flash out. So we have those two. Then we have Whatever Happens. Right? It's so much fun. So much fun to read a landlord tenant roommate type book and loved it super enjoyed it super super enjoyed it uh definitely think you should check it out because it's fun then we have her uh sort of fantasy series which i'm still waiting for that third book uh but we have covet which is the first book and then we have enchant which is the second book Whew. Then we have this series. I'm not exactly sure what the name of the series is, but these books are amazing. Um, we have Ray of Sunshine. Somehow or another, I got two copies of When Stars Collide. Then we have When Constellations Form. Have Broken Hearts. And then I have two forms, uh, the hardback copy in black and white and the color copy of Dark Hearts, which love them. Love, love, love. Oh, so much. So there's that. Woo. So many books, Makaya. So many books. Which one? These go here, I think. There we go. Put those there. Then we have The Lies That Define Us, which is this one. Then we have The Road That Leads Us. Mm. 
One year she did a secret reveal and secret arc giveaway. Like if you met her at the signing, then you got a copy of it. And that is Bring Me Back, which this is a special one. So super excited about that. I also have A Lot Like Love. Nope. A Love Like Ours. Let me see if I can get that name right. Got the two copies of Beauty and Ashes, which this is the original, I believe. And it's going to flash out because it has like this white thing going and it's so gorgeous in real time. And then you have this one with the people on it. And then we also have the other side of Tomorrow, which rounds out my Macaulay Smelter section of the bookshelf. Now this is going to be a mix of things and then we're going to get to an author that needs two shelves uh, for themselves, but haven't gotten there yet. Whew. Well, I'm already tired. I'm so tired already. Are you guys still with me? I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. Uh, but we have my Rebecca Yarrow's books. So I have Girl in Love and Boy in Love, which she did a co-write with uh, Jay Crownover. Loved this series right here. No! Then I have my two copies of The Last Letter, which this is the trade, uh, trade paperback. And then this is the mass market one that you can get at Walmart and everything like that. Hey, princess, glad you were here so you could see some covers um, that you need, of books that you need to go read. Yes, covers, books you need to read. And then I have Rebecca's latest uh, trade back, which is a great and precious things, which love, 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 love. Um, let's see. Now we're going to get to... Tegan Hunter, who loves to make a play on puns and things like that. Love that she does that. And they are so fun and funny and things like that. So we have Let's Get Textual. That's not going to work. Oh, we're going to move Rebecca up. So I can stack Tegan here. Then I want to text you up. Can't text this. Do, 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 do. Can't text this. Can't text this. There we go. Uh, we have text me, baby, one more time. Um, a pizza, my heart. A pizza, my heart. And then we have. Dun, 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 dun. I need you tonight. <sighs> There we go. <laughs> Hopefully I don't get <laughs> I don't get in trouble for that. <laughs> Alrighty. So because I don't want to get into this into Megan's craziness yet, we're gonna start at this other end. Uh, you know. I'm glad you're here for this. This is what the other shelves look like as well, or how I pre you know, did all that. So we have Ellie Wade's books. Um, these, this is an author that is from Michigan. I think she still lives in Michigan, but a lot of the settings are um, at the University of Michigan. And I love it, love it, love it, love it. It's just something we bonded over and yes. Uh, so we have a beautiful kind of love, which is book number one. And then we have A Forever Kind of Love, which is book number two of that duet. And then we have Chasing Memories. Whew. Then we have Finding London, Keeping London. 
loving London and eternally love London. There is another book. Uh, I think it's called Taming Georgia that goes in this series, but it is a spinoff about another character within the story. These four books are of the Flawed Heart series, which follow uh, London and Landon, right? Nope. London and Locke. There we go. And there's controversy over how you pronounce our male character's name in this series, but I call him Locke. So there we go. Now, and there's really no point in trying to move these books up at all whatsoever. So I'm just going to get into it. This next shelf and oh, we're, we're, we're making good time. So I'm just going to keep it going. Keep it going. I was going to break, you know, like I said, at that down there, but we're going to keep it going because this, this one shelf is not going to take me 30 minutes. Although I could talk about this author quite a bit, but this shelf right here and quite a few other books that you'll see in just a couple minutes are by Megan Quinn. Love Megan Quinn oh so much. Whenever she puts out a book, kind of need to have it in this because she's like right up there with Alethea and Kennedy on my book collecting, right? Uh, so we're just going to run through some books for Megan Quinn. So we first have the Mother Road, great, great, great jokes in it. Um, so amazing, love it so much. The romance, the virgin romance novelist. Then we have the Randy romance novelist. We have her swimmer collection or her swimmer series that she has, and it starts off with Stroked. I have two copies of Stroked Long because they're two different colors and I don't think you can see them. One's teal, one's blue, but I had to have them both because that's just me. And then we have Stroked Hard, which is awesome too. <laughs> Love it. I had to get two copies of A Dear Life because the covers are different. And this is one of those stories that will change your life will change your life. Yes. So much. So, 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 so much. So you have four people, four journeys. They connect in some ways. And I loved it. It was an experience and it was just beautiful. And I think everyone should read this book. Yes. Um, move that one down here. And I think these are out of order. I'm pretty sure these are out of order right here. And they're probably going to flash super hard because they, this is like her like white collection uh, or white cover collection. So whew, it's going to be crazy. We have co-wrecker. It's about an ice cream person and uh, his like crush and, great puns and things like that. That one. It's like her college series. All the guys are in college or getting out of college or, you know, dealing with a college in a college town, things like that. The other brother is another one. These can be read as standalones and they don't need to be read in order. That's why you're seeing them in no particular order. Uh, but you will see the characters flow in and out of all of these books. We have Twisted Twosome. Yummy. We have three blind dates. Two wedding crashers. My best friend's ex. And then we have one baby daddy. Ooh. Megan's known for her boob squishies, which is my awesome sticker right here that you saw fall out. Do, do, do. 
Then we have her co-write. This is just an excerpt. I actually need to order the actual book, but uh, of Love Sincerely Yours. This is an office romance that she wrote with Sarah Nye, and it's flipping super funny, amazing. Uh, someone that's leaving a company decides to uh, email the boss and tell him how bad he is over a company email that's supposedly anonymous, but it isn't really anonymous. And, you know, things end up happening. Yes, very much so. This next series is, is, is super special. Super special. Love it. It's a military series that's going to take you on a journey. You do need to read both duets to get the full and complete story of one of our characters um, and not be mad at Megan for the way that she decided to write these. So we have the upside of falling. We have the downside of love. We have the left side of perfect. And then we have the right side of forever. Love those. Woo, still giving much love to Megan Quinn. She did a blackout series of her book covers. I love them oh so much. Uh, I think it was either last Thanksgiving, I think it was, we broke the internet. It was absolutely hilarious. But then I finally got my copies and I was like, ha -ha, yes, that's what I'm talking about. So these are her black covers or blacked out covers. It's a play on the original covers, but they're just black. And this is the locker room. Then we have three blind dates. And we have the mother road. Do. All right, let's talk about my Port Snow, guys. Uh, I am currently reading the fourth book in this series right here. Um, it's not called the Port Snow series, but I'm calling it the Port Snow series because it's it, that's where it's it it's in Port Snow in uh, what you call it. It's in Port Snow, Maine, and it's a small town. And she has just built this town up, and it's very idyllic. And I like kind of want to go and eat at this make believe restaurant that's in here. But I have all of them, and it starts off with yes, that second chance. It's about four brothers. They think that they're unlucky and things end up happening. And the way that they get their women is so much fun. So swoony. So love it. And yes, loving the that swoony one or nope. That swoony feelings or those swoony feelings. The one that I'm reading right now, uh, it's in my other stories, by the way. Okay, see, yeah. I don't know what's up with the internet. Internet sucks sometimes. Uh, be all acting all kinds of crazy. But then we have that forever girl. And then somehow or another, I got two copies of uh, that secret crush. Boom. And when that swoony feelings comes out on August the 6th, I will get the next, get that one. In paperback as well so that's gonna happen um we'll sit that over there somehow or another i got extra books again uh but this is her baseball series in which i absolutely absolutely love 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 uh can we can we she's like my rom-com queen i love her oh so much so i have two copies of boom the locker room and as you guys saw this is the regular version and then you guys saw the blackout version of it then somehow or another i got two copies of the dugout which love do we have the lineup and then we have the trade and i'm missing a one book in this series which i need to get as well 
Then we have these three books that sort of connect but don't connect um, kind of way. And we have The Secret to Dating Your Best Friend's Sister. We have The Diary or Diary of a Bad Boy. And we have Boss Man Bride Groom right there. Wow. That's all of Megan Quinn's books right there. Megan Quinn, Given Love right there. Um, I actually might do the switch. I'm thinking. Um, yes. So the extra books that I do have are signed and I'm pretty sure they're signed to me personalized. So that means I don't give them away, unfortunately. Um, I also have Christmas in the City, which is an anthology that uh, they're co-written short stories. Uh, I have one in here, in this one, in this, in this right here. You have LJ Shin and Helena Hunting uh, pairing up. Corinne Michaels and Melanie Harlow by Keelan and Penelope Ward, Sierra Simone and Kennedy Ryan, Penny Reed and L.H. Causeway, and Serena Bowen and L. Kennedy. Some of those co-writes are uh, normal pairs, but then there's some like Sierra Simone and Kennedy Ryan that's a new pairing, and I can't wait to read that story. I also have a copy of Jody Ellen Malpas' Leave Me Breathless. Yeah. So what do you guys think? Should I take a break, process this one, and then go on to the bottom two shelves? Cue in real quick. Let me know because technically I only have about 15 more minutes left on the IG Live right now. So let me know. Let me know, let me know, let me know. It won't stop over on YouTube. So YouTube, you guys will see all the background and things like that. This will also give me a chance to reposition and, uh, you know, go down. No, that's not why I asked. I need your help. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Hello, hello, hello. I'm thinking I might just go ahead and do that so that I can reposition and get comfortable for this last half. I mean, the last half shouldn't take that long, but it's going to, it's definitely going to take longer than 15 minutes. So I think I will do that. So IG, I will be back in. Okay. I will be back on IG in about five minutes and YouTube, you guys can hang out, chat within between yourselves and Possibly, you know, throw some things over there in the comment section. I will reset everything and we will be right back on IG Live. Okay, see you guys in a couple minutes. Let's go in. All right. Oh, so y'all at YouTube get to see all this behind the scene type stuff. Whew craziness and me ooh, readjusting you I think that's where I want to be is it Because I most definitely am going to be sitting on my my behind. Ooh. Ooh. Woo. Oh, you love. <laughs> I'm glad you love behind the scenes because some people don't. Go right about there. Oh. No. Okay. Share to IG gallery. Oh, which picture that picture? Oh, oh, oh. So 
hey youtube so <laughs> why do i have that jason derulo song stuck in my head right now oh i know why because i watch tiktok but then at the same time i had never heard this actual song and now that i've heard the actual song i'm like it's in my head what am i gonna do with myself oh my gosh uh yeah crazy uh, clipboard. Oh, it's already open. There are you. There. Oh, wow, this is the sign. Favorite, favorite author. That can't be seen. Yeah. It is. Um, arms. This is favorite. Um, others, it should be plural. Book shovel, they can see videos. Do, 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 Review cover. Post that. Woo! Stay away from TikTok. It's so addicting. I've curbed my appetite lately, so that's a good thing. That is a good thing. I'm happy about that. But it is very, very, very addicting. So addicting sometimes. Alrighty. Let's... Get back to the live book, bookshelf tour episode 6.2 is my title. Whoa, I need to cue that in there. Oh, I got a sneeze. <laughs> Not Corona. Not Corona. <laughs> Some people may not find that funny. I do. Just because we're going into flu season and there's going to be a whole bunch of people sneezing around here and it's going to be crazy. Okay. All right. There is that. I think we should be good to go. Oh, let's angle you down just a little. Okay, so I am back going live on Instagram. It's calling my connection. And we're back for the second part, lower half of the shows in the bookshelf tour. And if you've been here on YouTube, then you know what the upper half consists of. Uh, but here is the lower half. And for those over on YouTube that I had to do that so that, you know, when you see the preview on Instagram, it actually shows and things like that. So, so there we go. Oh. Oh, I didn't know that Hamilton has been doing like a thing on, on TikTok. So that's really, really interesting. Sorry. Ugh. Whoa. So can I tell you guys, this is not a sponsored video because like I don't have brand things like that. 
Uh, but I saw on Instagram once uh, these Java socks. And can I just tell you, they are absolutely amazing. I love them. The hubby got me some for Christmas, I think it was. And I absolutely adore them so very much. Um, they are like the best thing ever. And for those of you that didn't know, this is my birthday month. And it's also my mother's birthday month. And as a matter of fact, today is my niece's birthday. My sister-in-law's birthday was a couple days ago. So I am sending a huge happy birthday out to uh, my family members. And oh, my brother, my like super young brother that we didn't grow up together because it was on my dad's side. But um, his birthday is the same day as my sister-in-law's birthday. And yes, huge happy birthday to all of the family and to myself for the month of August. We love, we love, we love August babies and things like that. And I happened to open my door one day and was like, what is this? I didn't order anything. But my mother sent me this amazing, amazing print that is absolutely gorgeous, I must say, and I love it, and a huge thank you to my mom, if she is watching, I'm not sure um, where she's watching, I gave her the link for the YouTube, so I don't know if she's watching over on YouTube, but either way, because I don't think she has Instagram, because she couldn't figure out last week's, but that's okay, so she has a link for this one, so hopefully she'll watch it and see that I sent out a huge happy birthday to her and to myself. And August is an amazing month. August, love August. Hello, hello. Thank you for joining the second half. Love it, love it, love it. Let's get into some lower half of the bookshelf uh, books at this point in time. Alrighty, so we have a couple mass markets from Katie Robert and we have uh, The Wedding Pact. And I also have an indecent proposal. Both of these are in the O'Malley series. So we have those. Um, I also have The Devil's Daughter by Katie. And I also have The Hunting Ground by Katie Roberts. So... It should be up so that you can see it uh, anytime you want in the IGTV section. So for those of you that may have missed the first half of this, the if you go to my profile in the middle, there is a little box that looks like a television that says IGTV on the top of it. Uh, you can watch the playback there or you can go to my YouTube channel probably later on um, and be able to see it there as well. So, and if you go to my community tab on YouTube as well, you can look at the uh, announcement and sneak peek of it so that you can use that link if it hasn't processed yet. If you use the link, you can also jump right into the live show as well. Uh, so there, there, there's that. Oh, and if you're on that very toxic place called Twitter, I did announce it over there as well with the link to the live show. So if you wanna do it that way, there are ways to see the first part of it even before it finishes processing over on YouTube. And then Instagram is always like a constant. It's pretty awesome because it does it and it's like right away unless you do something crazy. But I don't think I did anything crazy. I hope you guys don't think I did anything crazy in the first one. Um, so then we have, back to the books, we have Michelle A. Valentine if you saw last week's bookshelf tour, you know that she has a couple books over on bookshelf number five, five. Um, but this is her other collection. It is the uh, Black Falcon series. And I absolutely adore this series. I think it's awesome. Um, but it starts you off with Rock, Rock the Heart. And I love this series. Then we have Rock the Band. I wish there was a way. See, I don't want to turn it. Oh, whatever. 
whatever. We'll just do it like that. Uh, we got Rock My Bed. We have Rock My World. Rock the Beat. And then we have Rock My Body. This is a, a rock band story, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, I like the dynamics and the real issues that these rock stars end up going through as they're learning about themselves, about their band, and all that kind of crazy stuff. Um, then we have my Deborah Anastasia collection, which I absolutely love. Um, I will be reading her newest book uh, to, that's coming out shortly, and it is called Drowned in, nope, Drowning the Stars. Um, I did an unboxing of some goodies from her for that, and as soon as it comes out in paperback, I will be trying to get a copy of that one as well. Um, but one of the series that I absolutely adore by her is her Poughkeepsie series, and it starts with Poughkeepsie, right? And technically you should read this in this order, but some people put the prequel before reading Poughkeepsie. And I kind of think it ruins sort of the dynamic of what you're getting into, even though it, uh, it talks about their life before. I think it's better to read it after you've heard about the dynamics of them versus, uh, you know, versus learning about them and then going into each one of their stories. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but yeah, I think you should read it in this order. So you have that one and then you have Saving Poughkeepsie. Then you have Return to Poughkeepsie. And you have Poughkeepsie Begins. So that's what I'm saying. You should read this one last, even though it is the prequel to the actual series. Then we have another series that I adore, which I don't think it has a name, but the characters in the books kind of flow together. Um, and I really enjoyed it. But you have, nope, wrong order. You have Mercy. Then you have Havoc. And you have Locke. Love that series. Um, those are two of Deborah Anastasia's more serious uh, series in nature stories. They have a more emotional connection and things like that. You also have her standalones that I have. Um, well, not this one. This is a standalone, yes. But I can't remember if this one's emotional or not. I think it is. Well, he's a serial killer. So um, there may be some emotions in it, but this one's called Beast. Then you have her not so serious book. Uh, it's called a boot camp uh, dating service. And it's super funny. Oh my goodness, I am missing books. I am so missing books. And I haven't gotten them. I guess I need to reach out to Deb and get her fire down below and fire in the hole. I think that's the name of those two books. They are absolutely hilarious. So funny. But if you're not a fan of poop jokes and uh, vagina talk, then you probably want to pass on those, but I thought they were hilarious. So funny. Um, then we have her sort of, um, I guess you could say it's like, it's not paranormal. It's almost historical, but not really. There's a little bit of time travel in it. So Brie, if you were here, um, and I don't know why I haven't told you to read this one yet, but it has a fantastical feel to it uh, that's sort of historical. And it's called uh, For All the Evers. And yeah. And if you didn't 
catch that for all the Evers fate. You guys, you need to read that one. And then we have a collab co-written story uh, with a whole bunch of other authors. They all had like sort of this one little piece of the story that they put and it's one coherent story and it's called Felony Ever After. 13 authors, one story, and it's crazy, you guys. So the authors that are written or that write for the story is Helena Hunting, Deborah Anastasia, Tijin, Vi Keelan, Penelope Ward, Jay Darhauer, Lisa Raven, Liz Morris, Nina Bucho, uh, Belle Aurora, K.A. Robinson, S.M. Lumenti, and Catherine Stevens. All of them wrote this story together, and it was just like a, hey, here's this one piece, here's this one piece, and then, you know, the story came to be. Very, very interesting story on that one. So that is my Deborah Anastasia collection. Now we are getting into my Joanne Schwimm collection. She is another local author that uh, is in the sort of Eastern Coast area um, close to me and love her to death. Love her and A.M. Madden, which is the next books that you guys are going to see. It goes from Joanne to their co-writes to A.M.'s and love them. So let me show you which ones we have from them. Um, can't show you these because that would be out of order, but uh, I guess I'll pull them down. So we have, this is a series about a family and each one of the family members gets their own book. And we have a political book, which is incumbent. Um, I think I believe it go, this is the correct order for them. We have the next book, which is Grit. He is a golfer. We have the sister's book, which is Charmed. Then I'm not exactly sure which order it goes in, but we have Stift right here. And let's see. Yeah, can't figure it out. But we have that one. That's another, that's another one of the brothers. And then finally we have hooked. Which this is a chef. So I think it actually goes hooked. This one right here. And then stiffed. I believe that is the correct order. I believe. I think. I hope. Um, then we have on these two which is unexpected chance and we have my chance that's a duet then we have a standalone called a heart's forgiveness And we have one that is brother's best friend, super lovely, yummy, uh, ugly duckling sort of syndrome called hard love, which I loved. Oh, then we have my, uh, one of my favorite, favorite co-writes. Um, uh, the series is absolutely amazing. It's about, family. It's about fond family and about friends getting with other friends. And I absolutely love them. Oh, my brother's on right now. So hi, bro. Uh, make sure you tell my niece I said happy birthday because you probably missed the first part of this. And I was saying happy birthday to everyone. Um, and let Alicia know I said happy birthday and mom that I said happy birthday. And yeah, everyone happy birthday that has birthday in August. Yay. Yay. I love that my brother is on right now. I think he's at work too. So, (laughs) which is even funnier. Um, But this series right here is about friends and friends hooking up to friend groups and they're so much fun. And it starts you off with a sort of feeling of survivor meets the bachelor, but they're 
they're not dating a whole bunch of people. It's one couple that goes to this island and they are blacked out. They are not allowed to have any sort of technology whatsoever. And they have to live together to see if they can find love. And that is Finding Mr. Wrong, which absolutely love this cover. Oh my goodness. Love it so much. Um, then we get to Tame Mr. Flirt or Taming Mr. Flirt. Then Scoring Mr. Romeo. Love it. Then we have Craving Mr. Kinky. And finally, we have a girl which is Loving Miss Sassy. So those are Joanne and A.M. Madden's co-writes together. Love them together. <laughs> then Joanne, nope, A.M. Anne, she wrote a story or a series about a rock band. And, well, two rock bands, as a matter of fact. Uh, but that's what we have here. And it starts off in Backup right there then we have a front and center we have encore and then we have backstage for that series then it spins off and you have the devil's lair And then I also have a short story from this series called Backstage Pass. There is that. Alrighty. So that takes care of Joanne and A.M. Madden. Ooh. And we're on our final shelf, guys. Yay. Okay. I don't even know. These aren't like in any sort of order whatsoever. So I'm just going to like pull some and we're just going to go over them. Um, I did not know that L.H. Causeway was from Ireland. So last summer when she came to the girls are back in town, I was like, and she put out that you had to pre-order and she was only bringing a certain amount of, of books and things like that. I was like, I may never ever get to see her again. So of course I need to read and get the uh, rugby series that uh, her and Penny Reed wrote together. Couldn't think of that, sorry. And even after I had gotten these books, I had not read them. But now that I have read some of them, I am so happy that I got signed copies from L.H. Causeway before uh, what have you. So the first one is called The Hooker and the Hermit. Then we have The Player and the Pixie. These all revolve around rugby players. So if you haven't read a rugby sports romance, get with this, this series because it is so much fun. It is super hot and sexy as well as super funny and just love it oh so much. Then we have the CAD and the co-ed. And finally, we have the varlet and the voyeur. I think I said that correct. So. Yes, there we go. So those are the LH Causeway books. Um, I think I'm going to move these. If you watched uh, book tour number three, yes, you would have seen that I had a few uh, Ali Martinez books. And here is the rest of that collection. I have uh, The Fall Up, which I absolutely love this cover. I think it's gorgeous. And The Spiral Down. Another series that ripped me apart, which is written with you and written with regret. I actually think I said that out of order. I'm not sure. 
you'd have to look it up to figure out if that's how you read those two. Um, we have Across the Horizon, which is the third book in the series for the darkest sunrise and the brightest sunset. This is the spinoff book for that. Then we have the Guardian Brothers or Guardians Protection series that is still ongoing, I think, um, because I definitely need more stories out of this because there are some other people that are involved in this and uh, I kind of need it. Uh, but we have Singe, which is a super emotional book. And from what I understand, this is actually a uni unicorn cover um, for this book. Super excited to have that. And then we also have Thrive. And those are the Ali Martinez books. Ooh. Do, 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 do. Um, yikes. Alrighty. I have Love Online by Penelope Ward. I also have The Day He Came Back by Penelope Ward. Sorry, I'm getting out of shot here for you guys to look at it together. I don't know how I can do that. Oh, well. And then we have When August Ends by Penelope Ward as well. There you go. Reading Rachel Mead, as in the Vampire Academy. And yes, brother, dear, they are all my books. This is my bookshelf room or my recording room. Um, so yes, they're all my books. All my books. I have my very own library. Um, ooh. This is my Melanie Harlow collection. Um, I need to get more books from Melanie or by Melanie, but these are the ones that I have from her already. And that is Frenched. Fort there and floored. That is one series. And then you have some sort of happy. Uh, some sort of crazy. And some sort of love. There we go. Ouch. Ooh. Then we have uh, a set of books that were really in the spotlight uh, a couple years ago for Cocky Gate. And those are the sort of cocky stories that uh, Penelope Ward and Vi Keelan wrote together. And I have Playboy Pilot, Stuck Up Suit, Cocky Bastard. Then I have uh, Room Hate, which is just by Penelope Ward. And Mac Daddy by Penelope Ward as well. So. Those are all strange heights. It's weird. All right. Then we have my books from... Amy Marie, and those are Unexpected, Undone, you have the novella called Untouched, which goes in between there, and then we have Undeniable. Wait, I missed something. 
I can get into book. I've never heard of that story or that book. Succubus Blues? Hmm. I've never heard of that one. Maybe I missed it. All of these authors put out a lot of books. They're all indie authors for the most part. Um, as you saw, most of, most of these books are paper tradeback books. So I'm getting them directly from the authors themselves and uh, during signings and things like that. So that really does sort of play into things, right? Um, oh, gosh. Ugh. Next, we have my Devony Perry books, which I need to get more of because I am missing oh so many of them. Um, I have the first two books in the Lark Cove series, which I think it goes Tattered and then Timid. And then I think there's other books, but I really, really, really want her. I can't even remember what they're called. Oh, one of the books is Copper House something or another. Yeah. I need the rest of Debbie's books. Just I'm just putting that out there, right? Um, if you guys saw one of my unboxings, I did get copies of um, her birthday girl. Nope. No, no, no. Different author. Different author. Woo! Birthday list and letters to Molly. Both of these had cover changes and I had to have both covers. So we have the birthday list, which these are the two covers. This is the original cover and this is the new cover. Both of them are absolutely gorgeous. I'm just saying. And then we have letters to Molly, which this is the original cover. And then this is the new cover. Yes, thank you, Brie, Jameson Valley. Sweet Lord. Could not get that out to save my life. And also, I want to really, really get uh, her new series, her Gypsy, uh, her Gypsy Kings or something like that series. I'm not exactly sure. Tin. Tin Kings is the series name, I think. But it has Stone Princess, Gypsy King, um, and there's two other books or something like that. I want that series as well. Uh, yes, I love the original covers, too. I think these original covers are absolutely stunning. Just stunning, stunning. So great. Um, whew, then then uh, so if you go to signings um, or if you've been to any of the signings, uh, you know that, uh, whatchamacallit, sometimes they give away books. Really, really, like, just everyone gets a book and everything like that. Oh, no. Did you guys lose? Can you guys hear me over on YouTube? Maybe I was talking too low? Was I talking too low, baby? I hope you didn't lose audio. I don't have anything plugged in today. Ugh, this sucks. I hope not. I really, really hope not. Um, okay. Can you guys hear me on IG? Give me a thumbs up on either platform for volume and for sound and things like that. This is not good. Not good. Um, 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 um. It looks like it's still going. All right. Got a thumbs up over on... Instagram. Do I have a thumbs up over on YouTube? Maybe. 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 I don't know. Okay. Thank you, Jess. You're the best. I swear you were like my tech person, man. Awesome. Okay. So Misadventures um, is a sort of book collection that has a crap load of books 
a crap load of books out right now, right? But sometimes uh, they would give away books in their hardback copy from this because you can't get them in hardback copy just buying them off of Amazon. You have to get them at signings and stuff like that. So I uh, I have three of them and I got, I'm got i super excited about this. There are more that I want. Uh, so I have Misadventures of a City Girl by Meredith Wilde and Shell Bliss. Um, see on the back of it, you can see that there are other misadventures. You have misadventures of a good wife, uh, misadventures of a backup bride, which you guys will see right here. There's the backup bride one, which I have. Um, and then you have misadventures of a first daughter by Meredith Wilde and Mia Michelle, uh, misadventures of a backup bride is by Shayla Black. Ooh, you guys really flashed out on that one. There you go. There's that one. Um, there's the back of it to see those other ones. And then you have Misadventures of a, a Valedictorian. Um, and then you've already seen the other two. Or no, you're about to. Because here is Misadventures on the Night Shift, which is the back of that one. But then on the back of here, you get to see Misadventures of a Superhero right there by Angel Payne. And like I said, if you were to go online, there are like 30 books by multiple different authors. And I wish I could get them all because there have definitely been some, some good ones, some good ones. So there's that. Um, Now we have my Shonora Williams. Ooh. No. My Shonora Williams collection. Oh, I love, 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 love. I love this series right here. It's about a rock band as well. Love, uh, loved it. Just, I loved it. Loved it oh so much. So um, it's called the Fire Nine Trilogy, but it's actually like four books. Um, and it's about a band and I loved how she did it. Um, let's see. We have book one for who he is. Then we have who we are. We have who I am. And then finally, who I am be or who I'm becoming. And then we have a standalone called Tainted Black. And then we have Doomsday Love is the final book that I have of Shinora's. Love them oh so much. We are now down to the last author and last books that are on the shelf. Um, and I found this author because she's an indie author. I love her um, and have been following her since she, uh, you know, since I found her, what have you. She doesn't write very many books, but uh, I love these ones that I have right here. I was super intrigued by them and uh, found them very entertaining. So we have uh, the or Lies and Truth duet, which is Hidden in Lies. And then you have the conclusion of it, which is book two, Undercovered by Lies. And both of these books take you on a little bit of a journey and they are so much fun and so intriguing and I really, really enjoyed them. Then you have her standalone called Hopeless Avows. And I just love that cover. I think it's beautiful. And I didn't tell you, but it's Rachel Duncan. Rachel Duncan. There we go. Okay. So that concludes today's bookshelf tour. Um, and that is it. So do you guys have any questions for me since I have a little bit of time on, uh, on Instagram because I'm only sitting at an hour and 25 minutes where we took that 10 minute break or so. I think it was 10 minutes. Um, but yeah, ask a question. I might answer you <laughs> while I figure out how to put these books back to back together. 
Um, oh. Whew. Oh, you are so welcome. Um, I'm actually kind of happy. I'm still, I'm still deciding if you didn't see my story from earlier, I'm still deciding if I'm going to build the other bookshelf and, uh, like show you that that rickety one because that rickety one is absolutely crazy i think if i was to even think about touching that bookshelf it would fall apart on me so i'm not doing it plus there's not really any books over there that are really super entertaining but then again bookshelf tour number two wasn't all that entertaining because those are books that i don't really read um and i actually ended up doing an unhaul in that one so, and that, that, that bookshelf needs to have some unhauls of their own. As a matter of fact, a whole shelf would be gone. All the books on the shelf because the, uh, what? Why am I crying like a man? What? What is that? I don't know what that is, brother. <laughs> so for those over on YouTube, my brother is on Instagram watching and he's commenting and I have no clue what he's talking about. So there is that. Alrighty. Well, I think I'm going to cut it off for today. I've had you guys wrapped up in me in a while. Like I said, um, make sure that you over on YouTube, check the description box for any extras, what have you, my Kofi and my PayPal uh, stuff is down there so that if you think I did a good job or if you watch my content and you want to donate to the cause of keeping the channel running, uh, you can do that. Also, there's a feedback form over on the YouTube channel so that you guys can give me information and help. <laughs> Just wants a giveaway for those over on Cry Like a Man. No, I don't have that book. I don't have that book, brother. Yeah, I don't have that book. No. I think those are like my recipe books, my Nicholas Sparks books, which I don't talk to talk about. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's the YouTube stuff. Over on Instagram, make sure that you are checking. If you missed any portion of this, it is in two sections this week as well. It's called Bookshelf Tour 6.1 and 6.2. You can see them instantly, or you can go to my profile in their... Uh, in the middle there, there's like this little TV looking thing that looks kind of like that, my, my little antennas and stuff like that. But it says IGTV and you can click that and it will allow you to watch the playback of it and you can, you know, see what you missed, what have you. Other than that, um, thank you guys for watching me. Thanks for joining me. Um, and while I go through my bookshelves and show you the signed books, and tell you stories of the books that I have. Yay! Loads of fun. Yee! Alrighty. I think that's it. So I'm gonna sign off on Instagram now. Um, and you know, let you guys be free. Fly free, fly free. Bye. Oh. YouTube, you guys are far away, so it'll be a second before I process you. Ha 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 ha. Once again, you guys get to see the background or back side of what I do to close out a video. Oh, I forgot what I said on that. Let's see. Um... This is <sighs> oh, the lower, uh, lower, why, why, I can not go back on, over half, mm.
Okie dokie. What's going on with YouTube? Oh, oh, now you want to join me. Now, now you want to join me, India. You all of a sudden decide to come and join the fun. I see how it is. I see how it is. Where you been at, man? Where you been at? I don't care that you were taking pictures of your firefighters or anything like that. You missed it. You missed it. You missed what? What? It shirtless. See, y'all over here chatting without me. Chatting without me. Okay. I'm going to sign off of this live show right now. Um, so like I said, if you missed anything, you can always do the playback. Um, you can always do a playback off of the tweet that I made talking about this video or talking about this live tour, what have you. Um, and you can check my, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna yell at you. Come on, India. You know me. I'm going, I'm going to yell at you. Yes. Yes. Cause I know you're going to watch my playback. So it's all good that if you didn't, you know, what have you, but here I am signing off once again, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends about it. Um, you can go back and view bookshelf. I think it is four, five, and six. I believe I did dual, uh, whatchamacallit, simultaneous on both platforms. So you can go check them out. Although I think bookshelf number four didn't turn out as well, because I think I had my camera stuck in the wrong port in my computer and my computer sucks. Um, so yeah, I am going to get off of here now. You guys are amazing. Thank you for watching. Like I said, oh, if for some reason you want to comment about something that you want somebody to see it instantly, um, make sure, or you weren't in the chat, make sure you're doing it in the comment section um, because while it is processing, I won't be able to see any of the chat that went on while it was going until after it processes on YouTube. So there is that. Thank you guys. Um, tomorrow's video will be out. I hope that you enjoy it because it took a little time and, uh, work. And no, India, I am not buying an Apple. There is just that. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Alrighty. So we will see you guys in the next video.